it's Betsy with Happily Ever After, etc. And I'm back with another garden project. So it just rained like crazy. Um, so you'd think I'd be inside, but A, that means it's a lot cooler out here. And B, my brother's coming over to help. So we're gonna make it work. We are actually finishing putting together the raised beds today. I have six more boxes so that we complete our L patterns. So if you didn't catch the first video where we put together these four, I will link that down below. Um, and that will have the full instructions on how to actually um, put them together. But today we are going to be, you know, laying everything out, making sure everything is square and centered on the shed and on the house and completing the look. So. Obviously, this won't finish the beds completely. I still need to fill them. I have a whole pile of sticks and leaves and other organic matter to put in the very bottom. And then a whole pile of compost and garden potting soil. I think that's what I have. Raised bed mix um, to go in the top half of the beds. So that will be a completely separate video. And then planting them will be, I'm sure, many more videos. But today, we are putting the last boxes together, completing the L. I am so excited for this, so let's get started. I'm working on my drip system. There's hose everywhere. All right, so the beds are all in. They're all glued together. I still have to run drip to everything and start to actually take the sticks, take the leaves, take the compost and the potting soil and fill these babies in so that all my little seeds that are growing up have happy little homes to live in. But I love it. So you can see there are four sets of L's and we may, I'm thinking of putting something in the middle. I was trying to decide between a fountain or a sculpture or a pot. I'm thinking I really want to put a dwarf peach tree in the middle. I think that would be really pretty with the pink blooms. So we'll see. This is obviously a long work in progress. You're going to have to put down either compost or pea gravel. I haven't decided. We'll mulch to match over here. Still need to build out a fence to hide all that mess. But y'all, the raised beds are in. We will start filling them up shortly. I don't know if you noticed, but it was getting pretty hot there. So I am ready for a break. But I am, I am so excited about this. Like y'all. You've been watching since the shed went in. This is this is a dream of mine that I never thought would happen. So I am very excited. I cannot wait to start growing things in the space. At this point, I just really want something down to cover all this cardboard. The cardboard's covering the weeds. 
but I want something pretty to cover the cardboard. So that's the next step. In the meantime, I will see y'all later. I will leave links down below to all the rest of the process with the drip irrigation and filling the beds with everything. And I hope we'll see you in the next video. If you want to go back to the beginning, I will leave a link right here to building the first beds. And I will leave a link below to installing the shed. Bye.